Hey, would you like your chance to win your own free NOAA weather radio? All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and you're automatically registered to win. Now, on to the video. Welcome back everybody to the Weather Nerds YouTube channel. I'm your host, Greg Majeski, your personal weather man. And I wanna thank everybody for the uh, participating in last night's uh, severe weather coverage had a uh, new high set there for us and, and added about a dozen new subscribers. So again, thank you to the joining the channel and you haven't done so just yet. Uh, please consider it so you're alerted on when I begin my live coverage later today. We're kind of looking back at what we saw yesterday. Again, uh, 25 tornadoes, 100 wind damage reports and 115 hail reports here over the last 24 hours. You can see where these kind of laid out historically here kind of uh, spread on out uh, throughout the day, the uh, last 24 Four hours so you can see we had a pretty good blast of active severe weather there in the Midwest especially where we had numerous tornadoes reported up that way and we're gonna folks we're gonna do it again today and it's gonna be quite active weather day covering probably a more widespread area now what's causing this again is this big area of low pressure this is this area of low up here toward the north we're starting to see kind of a diving jet stream you see this jet energy here diving down here as you get this big trough making this big dip here as this low is going to finally start to eject on out and move off toward the east as it does so it's going to fire off some additional severe weather here for later today and in fact we've had some changes in the outlook here for your wednesday so i do want to show you those so let me go ahead and get that up here for you now as we've kind of up the ante here a little bit notice we've got a red area there uh, encompassing a, a, a area for a moderate risk for severe weather so let's uh, break this down we're gonna break this down by categories and what you'd expect. Again, that moderate area includes areas like Nashville, Clarksville, uh, Murfreesboro, Franklin, and Henderson. Those are the Hendersonville, those are the main areas there, kind of cutting a swath into Tennessee, into southern Missouri uh, with that. Then you got that enhanced area there. Again, those cities of Memphis, St. Louis, Louisville, Lexington, uh, Fayette, and Little Rock, kind of all in that encompassing orange area, uh, getting all the way back near the Dallas Fort Worth area as well. So let's look at the categories. Okay, we're gonna break this down. Here's your tornado threat. That's still holding the same, about 10% covering the same general area we were looking at uh, yesterday. So that's your your, your, threat, your tornado threat there. Then you look at your wind threat. That's gone up significantly. That, that's that uh, moderate risk area. That's getting in that purple area. So we're talking about a 45% chance of seeing some uh, strong gusty winds in there. So what I'm expecting today is we're gonna see a bigger area with more wind reports, more wind damage reports, as well as hail damage reports, because the hail is also pretty up in the exact same area there. You kind of see the hail coverage there covering again up to 45% for Nashville, Clarksville, uh, Franklin, Hendersonville. Again, that's that area there with that moderate risk for severe weather. Then this will continue into tomorrow, but I don't believe it's going to be quite as bad. So as you look at the day two outlook, the frontal system begins to settle on down to the south as that low begins to move off toward the east. Uh, still got an enhanced area pocket there of severe weather. We'll have to watch there across areas near Dallas, getting over toward Dallas, Austin, Fort Worth, Arlington, and Garland. So that area right in there. And then you get the yellow swath stretching in a pretty good path. I mean, you're, you're looking at a pretty good uh, kind of stretch there of uh, activity that's going to be from the mid-Atlantic all the way back into Texas. So that's where that front is going to be sinking to the south. We're going to finally kick that low out of here. It's been sitting in there for all of week. It's been very unique situation to say the list to see, to see this kind of setup and kind of linger on for this long. So that's what we're seeing with that. Now, what I want to take a look at here again, oh, let me show, show this one more time too. I want to go ahead and show you this. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot on social media and stuff. So we're talking about a three and four level four today. So that's kind of the breakdown of categories one through five. So if you're in a, a particular zone and then say the severe weather threat is a three, you know we're talking about enhanced. And then we're also talking about some area today of uh, four or four. We even had a five two days ago, obviously in Oklahoma. All right. Now, what I want to take a look at right now is a little want to look at the simulated radar okay so this is going to look at the latest model data here and i want to go ahead and get this up as we got a few warnings going off here for this morning so uh let me go to the latest radar here and i want to show you the latest run here uh with this here i want to look at the the 6z run so we're going to take this through the next 48 hours so let me transition this over here and we're going to watch this here as we go through uh the, the day here so we're going to start here uh this morning 
Again, we're looking at uh, 7 or 8 o'clock this morning. You're seeing the activity across areas of Kentucky and into Mississippi. But watch what happens here as we progress here uh, through the day, all right? So watch that time cue. That, again, that's in that upper right-hand corner. And we see that energy, seeing those storms start to pop up there across areas of Missouri and stretching back into areas that got hit again yesterday. And the storms increase across uh, portions of Kentucky. But then notice we're starting to get a bit of a squall line here starting to develop. We're starting to get some uh, storms starting to form uh, there there in the area from Arkansas and into Missouri. So we're talking about this area uh, right in here starts to develop. Let me clear that out there. Sorry about that. And right through here as this is going to kind of move off toward the east and uh, set up some pretty uh, substantial activity with the weather. So this is at nine o'clock at night. So this could be another late event again uh, coming on as this moves off toward the east there. Look at all the storms there across Tennessee, uh, Kentucky going into the wee early morning hours. So highly advisable again for uh, tonight, more so tonight than I think last night, where you're going to need to make sure you have your weather radios as well as your severe alerts on your phones ready to go just in case as these storms move on through into Tennessee and into portions of uh, the Carolinas. Then as we go into tomorrow, that's when we'll see the activity kind of shift. You've seen the storms clustered there. Looks like getting over toward Birmingham and going into Atlanta as we go into throughout the day on Thursday. And then finally, this moves off toward the east, getting to the south. You still see that explosion of some more activity back over toward uh, Texas with another little piece of energy. This uh, rain in the south is not going to totally clear out of here until probably Friday. That's the last piece of energy here that uh, we see here on the model data here as we go in toward your Friday. So uh, as we look into Friday, uh, we'll still see some wet weather in here into this, into this zone. And we still have some um, marginal risk. It's a, a diminished risk of severe weather there across Georgia, Alabama for the day three outlook. So that's how things are currently looking and expect to look here for today. Again, we do have some active weather a little bit this morning. We've got a couple of warnings there, uh, one little warning up there in the Tennessee for the moment. Uh, but again, we're expecting more activity here later today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be posting online uh, a hit time for severe weather, probably looking at the late afternoon to go ahead and start that going into the evening hours. Looks like it might be a late day again here for tonight. If you would like to participate, and again, thank you to the folks who participated last night in the coverage, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted on when that coverage begins. And uh, you can join us and we'll go ahead and watch the coverage here uh, for tonight. And then hopefully things settle down and the weekend looking much better, especially across the eastern third of the United States where we get some cooler weather and we get a chance to kind of catch our breath from what's been a pretty active severe weather season. All right, that's gonna do it for now. Please share this with your friends. Let's make sure we get everybody informed of what's going on with this weather for today. Again, appreciate you guys. You guys be good, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next update. Bye for now.